film noir detective film. <laughs> I sat in my office one night <laughs> while somewhere out of sight someone up the street played a saxophone. <laughs> my door slowly creaked open and a dame stood there moping. She looked like a milkshake coating delicate stacks of bone. Actually, her looks were just a perk. I seriously needed work to pay off some gambling debts I was owing. <laughs> As I stubbed out my ash, she threw down a bag full of cash. While through the smoke, that saxophone just kept blowing. I said, have a seat by my desk. If you're wondering, then yes, I'm for hire as a private detective. She said, My name's Valencia. I'm one of the intelligentsia. And I picked you because I'm highly selective. There's a man you must find. A criminal mastermind. Known as the Black Postman for all the black mail he's been sending. <laughs> I said, lady, I've been through all this. Maybe let's just cut to the twist. You're really him, so why wait to the ending? <laughs> he said, you're a smart private dick, but I'm hip to your trick. You're really her, so I'm not out to pretend it. <laughs> Just then, the saxophone guy, who was me in disguise, <laughs> burst inside with the gun that the sax hid. I said, your blackmailing days are through. He said, technologically that's true. No letter could arrive better than this black fax did. And so, rather timidly, I read the facsimile. And soon it was my goose that was cooking. It was a black and white photo of me alone, fucking my saxophone at a time when I thought no one was looking. So it seemed I had failed, because now I was blackmailed. And he left with the money in the sack. I had only some clues and hints and a few fingerprints. Valencia left and said she'd never come back. So I was still broke and in debt, but I wasn't out of tricks yet, because I found proof there'd be one more unmasking. Because I'm really her, and she's him, so it's obvious where I've been. And yes, I made off with the cash. Thanks for asking. <laughs> yeah.